you're looking at a real fishing game changer, an underwater surf fishing rig cam, and we're going to capture some stunning images in this video. Back at Navarre Beach, and there is a nice cut, big tumultuous area right here. That is a riptide, and then we have a bar right in front. So you could probably see everything that I'm seeing, and we're gonna try to focus on this area to catch the pompano. When we see a rip and we see a bar, that is traveling like that and traveling like that. So here we go. We're gonna fish ghost shrimp and fish gum today. That's all the bait I have. Ghost shrimp, in my opinion, is the greatest natural bait of all time. We are fishing with the greatest natural bait of all time, but you have to use this thread. If you don't use this thread, you're just throwing your bait in the water because they're so tender. No knot required, you wrap it, put them on, and it's done. I'm using red fish gum today. Red is a hot color during the winter months because these fish are eating a lot of blood worms out here. I've seen blood worm in the bellies of these pompano and whiting all over the place. First bait's going right in the middle of the trough, casting it right there in the swash zone. If there's a pompano there, it won't take long for him to hit this because the ghost shrimp is the greatest of all time. Putting ghost shrimp on the underwater camera as well. See how fish react. These are wicked creatures. One's on a float, one is just naked. Naked means that we don't put anything on it at all. We just do normal hooks. the one that's actually the that's actually the uh that's actually the one that's got a camera on it so hopefully that fish stays on there i hope it doesn't get off please be on there please be he's on there he's on there this is the fish that's on the camera feels like a big pompano God. I'm tired for running. I ain't going back down there with Justin and Carl anymore. It's a pop. Coming right in. Pompano on the camera using ghost shrimp. Here we go, in the water, there's the pompano, Salty's pompano rig, bearded brad, pink and yellow, ghost shrimp for bait. Here's the first hit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six hits. Didn't get hooked up, went for the float first. Now he's hooked up at the bottom dropper. There's no floats, it's naked. He's gonna suck it in and he's about to get hooked. Pick it up, run. He is hooked. I am using size four and size one circle hooks. And remember right now I'm running down the beach. I'm seeing this fish mess up the rod with all the strikes. He keeps fighting the resistance. Typically, if you give a fish this much time, he will get off. But thankfully, I did scale my hooks down. And you really know they work because when they hook in the mouth of the pompano, they're really hard to get out. Hey, look, there's me. And here we go, the landed pompano. Pretty interesting perspective, seeing what a fish sees in a big giant ogre about to pick you up. Nice fish. First pompano of the day. He's probably right at 13 and a half. We'll get right back out there. Thank you, Jesus, for that catch. Maybe we can get a limit. Here's how we wrap the ghost shrimp on. Again, it's no rhyme or reason. You just get the bait on there. Put this one on. 
You can see this one a little bit better. Right away, fish on right away. Fish on right away. Heck yeah. It got in the water and the fish hit immediately. That was sick. That was sick. Right away, this could be a big pompano. When they do that, you know that's a big pompano. When they do that, that is a big pompano. It hit, it hit immediately. It hit immediately. Do not want to lose this fish. Come on, come on. It hit immediately. Thing hit immediately. Shoot. Got him up. Got him. Got him. So what is this? That is a pompano. Very good tasty fish. Are they uh, just starting to run now? They're beginning to run, yes sir. Okay. So what did that run? A couple pounds? No, he's probably about he's probably close to two, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he is. Nice. And they're good eating. Wonderful eating. Pompano number two, Carolina rig. He's definitely a keeper. He's probably 13 to the fork. We're going for number two here. Let's see if we can get that limit. Ghost shrimp's a great bait. It's one of my favorite natural baits. I use everything. But most of the success will come from using a super scented bait like fish gum or fish bites or a super scented bait like ghost shrimp. There it is, right there in that little spot. You can see it's got a little bit of a current right there, but I bet, I bet we can jig up a pompano. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take it to the bottom. Uh-oh, that's a fish. That's a fish. Oh, stay on there, baby, stay on there. Stay on there, stay on there. Stay on there. Stay on there. He's coming in fast. And he's on, baby. Oh, this one's breaching. The big ones breach. The big ones, they breach every time. This is gonna be a big fish. He feels big. He feels big. He's got some weight to him. This is gonna be a good fish. Oh, I am using small hooks because that fish would be gone by now. This has got some meat to it. This has got some meat to it. Here he comes. I got another one on. I got another one on. Two in a row. Two in a row, baby. Non-stop action. Non-stop action. Oh, this is a big fish. This might be on the camera. This is on the camera too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That was awesome. Another camera shot. Hopefully got some power left on it. Ah. Let's see what this one hit. Okay, he's on there. What is it? Little guy. Little Pompano. Man, he hit bigger. Brunken Manufacturer at local tackle stores along the coast sells ghost shrimp pumps. All right. Ah, oh, crap! I lost a big one. I lost a double big one. He broke my, tw my 12 pound leader. And notice that, again, double drop rig, one has a naked hook, the other one has a float. Look again what the fish goes for first. It's the float and he's already broken off. So evidently there was probably a weak spot in that line. I am using 12 pound fluorocarbon. Hey, look at the stingray. And if it's a nick and that fish pulls hard, it'll pop it off. Here's a school of pompano. They're all small, three or four of them. And that fish is already hooked. It is on the bottom dropper. That was the naked one. That's the only one left available. And it's cool to see these fish stay together even when one is hooked. 
nine times out of ten, you will catch another fish if they're in a school and that fish is bringing the rig back to shore and it causes some movement and another fish bites it. I think we got something. Yeah, we got something on right here. There's a fish on here. He's playing with it. Yeah, he's on. Is he on? He's running in fast. Good gosh. This thing is blazing speed. There he goes. Now I feel him. Jeez, he was a speed demon. Going to the left. He comes all the way in. Pompano number four, baby. Whoa! Pompano number four. Speed demon. The smallest one of the bunch. But he's still a keeper. There we go. Here we go. It's getting close to dusk. You can see the pompano right there. He's right at probably 12.5 to the fork. That's pompano number four. If I can catch two more.